I say it's night time already. I'm slowly making video. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Hello guys, kumusta na po kayong lahat? At this times, we are still under community quarantine. So here in Cebu, I, we are still under ECQ. So mas mas mahipit pa rin sila. But anyway, kaya siguro I decided to make some more videos now. Maybe we're gonna make it often or make some more tutorials. Well, I remember kasi the first time I made a video on tutorials, meron akong ginawa na how to cut styrofoam using ordinary cutter smoothly, perfectly. Nung ginawa ko yung video yun, I didn't really expect na marami din manunood nun. Kasi I'm not really ready or ginawa ko lang yung video just for fun or some trials kung magugustuhan din ba ng mga tao yung subject. But I was so surprised kasi naging more than 10,000 views siya. But that video actually, hindi nyo talaga siya masyadong may intindihan kasi merong mga annoying backgrounds, music, at saka dun sa place where I work, marami siyang ingay na ma-observe ng camera. So, maybe this time, uh, that's why uh, I will be trying to make more detailed vi video on that. So, para mas maintindihan nyo with the same subject on how to cut styrofoam using this ordinary cutter and a cup of coffee. <laughs> Joke lang. Kasi it's night time already. I'm slowly making video. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Yes. Nandito tayo ngayon sa office ko. Kahit naka-quarantine tayo. So here we are. And all we gonna need is this ordinary cutter and a piece of crayon with your styrofoam of course. Okay, tip lang. Kahit na anong cutter yung gagamitin niya, the cheapest one as possible would really do. And the most important thing, we need the spare blades. Kasi kailangan talaga na laging bago yung blade mo. This one, mabibili mo lang talaga na 10 pesos per tube. So, one tube, meron siyang 10 sampo, piraso na blade. So, that only cost 10 pesos. So, 1 peso per each. So, hindi siya gaano, hindi ako bumibili talaga ng mga mamahalin na ganito. Kasi, I'm just gonna throw it away. Pareho lang sila talaga. But anyway, let's try to start making our letter layout. Mm -hmm. When you do your layout talaga, don't, wag mo na masyadong idiin. So, yung makikita mo lang talaga.
nakikita nyo ba this word okay ngayon let's try to cut it out as yun sinasabi ko whenever kailangan mo i-cut straight gagamit ka na lang ng ruler or just an imaginary ruler na lang I try to cut it out okay ito yan see it's so smooth kasi how I cut it kung napansin nyo talaga naka less than 45 degree angle yung blade ko so if if you think that's 90 degrees then you'll have 45 and you make it more or less like less than 45 so when you cut it off the result will be more smooth like that so wala siya hindi siya masyado magaspam itry natin sa 90 degrees mo look the result Makikita mo yung sapal-sapal niya. Si, nakita nyo? Napansin nyo? Hindi ko tinirekta i-cut through my line. Kasi, we have just the technique. That's one point. Uh, kailangan mo na one inch away from your subject first para makakonsentrate ka dun sa mas pinaka-detail niya. Smooth. Rough. You know the difference. But anyway, let's proceed. Okay, unahin muna natin tong letter A because it's all straight all the way. So... Once mo kukuha mo na na yung per letter niya, you can now make your own discard. So, it's all straight. So, magagamit mo lang yung less than 90 degrees. Saka muna isagad yun sa mga lines niya. Okay, pag ganito na, yung mga inside cuttings, i-insert mo muna yung blade. Slowly. Then, you pull it towards you. Para hindi, masya, hindi maputol, kailangan mo na mag 90 degree para yung edge niya makukuha mo pa rin. The other side. Skip a bit. Again, insert. In. Then go to 90 degrees from your 45 to 90. So you get it correctly, smoothly, perfectly, or actually. Okay, done letter A. Let's proceed with letter R. Itong letter R natin, we have a bit curve in here inside. So combination yung paggamit po ng degrees. The tips here, if you know yung 90 degrees is more like a jigsaw type, kung nai-imagine nyo yung jigsaw, it works like that. Yung lagari na ano, basta jigsaw. 
But anyway, <laughs> it works 90 degrees to make the perfect angle. Tingnan nyo na lang. Less than 90. Pagdating dito. Try to jig a bit. During the curves. So napansin nyo hindi ang nag ang gumagawa ng curve yung left hand ko. So this one stays that way. Stack it. Pwede rin yung gamitin yung mga side cuts nyo as your riser para hindi masyadong makurol yung blades nyo agad. Once it gets straight, then 90 degrees. Alright. proceed to the last letters which is the letter T it's a bit more like a cursive okay you can just bend the blade kung malaki yung carvings niya but if it comes to smaller curves oh wait where's my right there kung ganito lang malaki-laki yung curving na ikakat nyo you can just use the 90 degree angle tapos i-curve nyo din yung pagkating nyo it's more like that way you just wave it but kung ganito naman ka-bend yung curving hindi mo na magagamit yun so you have to use the 90 degree angle going angling all the way then as you can see my left and right hand goes along together so para hindi kayo mahirapan but anyway masasanay din kayo na yan let's proceed to my letter T Choke lang yun. 
you can just make it closer to perfect. There's no perfect thing. When I see it perfect, it's just close to perfect. We can't really expect so much more. Alright. So, kung babasahin nyo to lahat, let's make it. So, tara. But we're still here. Let's just make some art. Alright, so I guess this is just how I do it. I hope you have learned something from this video. And maybe Siguro one day will have a live streaming on doing things like this and on my next video, kukulayan natin to using the cheapest material, I mean the cheapest paint we can use. So, mas makakamura kayo, lalo na ngayon quarantine. If ever, merong mga birthday sa, or any events, dyan sa within your community or throw out just your family. Uh, mas surprise nyo sila and kahit na nasa quarantine kayo. So, you just make it by your own. So, I guess it helps a bit. And thank you for watching. Maybe I'm gonna make another video by tomorrow after I upload this thing. So, so hindi sa hindi pa nakakapag subscribe, please subscribe na lang and share this video if you wanted to. If you wanted me to make more videos, para naman meron na ako mga subscribers. So, again, thank you for watching and enjoying this video. Stay safe, everyone. Until the other video. Thank you. Kung napapansin nyo rin talaga, it's, it's smooth but it's a bit of, uh, meron siyang mga imperfections. It's because we're not using the high density styrofoam na mas matigas. This is just the cheapest ordinary styrofoam you could easily get somewhere like your school supplies or kahit na yung mga tira-tira ng mga appliances nyo just as long as you think you're usable so yun nga sinasabi nila nothing's perfect but at least you can make it more close to perfect right thank you